And just a few hours ago, we obtained brand new details about the accused shooter's arrest. One of our investigators, Robert Arnold, has been following the criminal investigation for you all day. He is once again in our newsroom with a closer look at court documents that he has and the alleged gunman's background. Robert? Yeah, Demetrios Pogorchis is being kept in solitary confinement at the Galveston County Jail. He was denied bond on charges of capital murder and aggravated assault against a public servant. Now, Pogorchis never spoke above a whisper when he went before Judge Mark Henry and indicated he needed a court-appointed attorney. Just after this hearing, Channel 2 investigates obtained the affidavits filed with those charges. Those court documents spell out Pogorchis wore a black trench coat and was armed with a Remington 870 shotgun and a 38 caliber pistol and admitted to carrying out the shootings inside Santa Fe High School. Investigators say he also told them he did not shoot students he did like so he could have his story told. Now the judge who presided over that hearing then went into more detail about some of the potential explosive devices found in and around the school. They were attempts but they were not functional. They were CO2 canisters wrapped up with duct tape, but no way to detonate, and a pressure cooker with a, an alarm clock and some nails, but no explosive device. Now, Judge Henry added, Pogorchis told officers he acted alone. Much of the work is now going to be finding out why, and we're going to talk more about that at the bottom of the hour. Live in the newsroom, Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Robert.